Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ron from Lemelin Photography. I'm the primary shooter, weddings, families, high school seniors, and today I'm just taking a break from the everyday dilemmas of life and decided to go for a hike up to Bash Bish Falls. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is, is I wanted to do a video of how to do pictures for the groom and the groomsmen. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back. If you like the content, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. But I wanted to talk to you today about the groom and the groomsman pictures. It's one of the things that I don't get to do very often because when the bride hires me, they want me to be with them and then my second shooter goes with them. So some of the pictures that you're gonna see turn a day are some done by me and some done by my second shooters. But the principles are still the same. Guys want to look cool, period. They want to look cool, they want to look rad, they want to look GQ style, and that is my job and the second shooter's job to come in and make them feel comfortable. Now, 98% of the guys don't want their pictures taken. It is a known fact. They're just 90% of the time just, just along the ride for the, uh, for the bride, um, but sometimes we got to get some uh, groomsmen's pictures. So, you're going to see a couple of prep pictures of the shoes being put on, the, the, the cufflinks being put on, the tie, the jacket, things like that. And it's all about, they're not looking too much. You'll see in the beginning part here. But as we go forward, when we start to pose them during the formals, man, oh man, you got to make them look good. You got to make them look tough. You want to keep that top button done and the bottom button on those vest jackets done. Um, keep the jackets open, hands inside the pockets, pull the tails forward kind of thing like that chest out, a little bit more of a wider stance, turn those shoulders like this, click, bang, done. And what that does is that makes them, you turn around and show that to them, and it makes them feel that much better. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll do my Mighty Duck pose, where I make like a flying V, so groom in the front, and then two, 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 all the way back, and I have them go outwards like this, so it looks like a flying V, Mighty Ducks. Um, and, and what I like to do is I like to make the, the, the groom the very big center point of it. So I'll put my 16 millimeter on and I'll come in a little bit closer kind of thing like that, focus on his eyes and then get the groomsman just faded out in the background like that. It makes for a great shot. Along the same lines, feet wide apart, not too much like a jumping jack, set them apart just a little bit, hands inside their pockets. Then I'll take the groom and I'll say, okay, I'll tell the groom, put one foot in front of the other and then go down like a catcher. So when they go down like a catcher, the other guys are still standing up in the background. The groom is the focus and it just makes everything. And then I shoot really low and then I shoot really high. You got to change the perspective because when you shoot low, it makes the groomsmen look and the groom look a little bit more inferior, a little bit more um, bigger, not weight wise, but bigger size wise perspective when it comes to the groom's pictures and the groomsmen pictures are imperative. You don't want that straight on shot. Hey, good, that looks great. Click, done. You know, I like to make my groomsmen look and feel very rugged and very um, um, masculine. I do not want any of my men feeling feminine when it comes to their poses. So they're not going to have their hands dangling. They're going to have their hands on their chest, hands on their jacket zipper, uh, hands inside the pockets, jacket wide open kind of thing like that. But that's important. You gotta make them feel comfortable and you gotta make them feel like they are just as important to the bride. And literally, bride will take an hour and a half of prep work, comes the grooms and groomsmen, 15 minutes and we're done. That's just for the getting ready pictures of it. Like that, 15 minutes and you're done. When it comes to the groomsmen's pictures, man, you gotta make them look tough. You gotta make them look rugged. You gotta make them look good and GQ. Uh, and I always turn one of my images over to the groom for each person in the wedding party. So the groom's pictures, for the groomsmen pictures, they each get a picture of what I feel is like a definitive, that's really cool, rad, that's an eight by 10 they're gonna be able to hang up on the wall and that's what they're really, really gonna like about that. So, and then when you make them look cool, when they wanna get married, they're gonna remember your name. So keep that in mind when it comes to the groomsmen, keep it short, sweet, very directive, but man, make them look tough make them look cool, make them look GQ, and make them look rugged. 
just do it. Lower perspective, 90% of the time is where I'm shooting from. Every once in a while, the mom is the ones that like, you know, the straight on shots. It's the grooms and the grooms and the brides that like that lower perspective. So keep that in mind when it comes to doing the pictures for the groomsmen. So if you like this content, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. So this is all about how to shoot the groom and the groomsmen during the formal and the getting ready. So all the pictures were done by me or my second shooter just to show you what I mean about perspective. Just remember that laugh, joke, play, give them nicknames, whatever you gotta do, remember that, and they're gonna remember you at the end of the day. So from Bash Fish Falls, and remember, smile more, it hurts less.